Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from 5 to Go. We got a brand new RV about a month ago and you guys have been asking for a tour, so this is the tour. We got a 2019 Fleetwood Discovery LXE 44B and this thing is such a huge upgrade for us. Yeah, it's about 44 feet, 42,000 pounds. It's a diesel pusher. It's got nice heavy tile and all sorts of fun things. So it's big, it's beautiful. We're gonna go up front and we're gonna show you the whole thing front to back. This was one of my main areas of concern when we went from a gas motorhome to a diesel pusher. In diesel pushers, almost every single floor plan has a front entry door. That's a door that comes in right in front of this passenger seat. And the reason that was a concern for me is because in the bounder, I had my desk on a little pedestal table right here between these two seats and the door was kind of where you guys are right now. Uh, so this whole area was kind of my office and Tara's little workspace. In this rig, that was not possible because if you put a desk here, you can't get in and out of the door. So we found a little portable desk, a little pop-up desk. It's actually quite sturdy. Uh, it fits my laptop just fine. And during the week when I'm working, my work laptop also fits on this same surface. On travel days, the chair goes all the way over this way. And then I'm driving a diesel pusher. It's a little bit different than a gas motorhome. It's got air brakes, air suspension. Uh, the controls are different. The transmission is all button controlled. There's no gear selector. So it's been a little bit of a learning curve, but I've got a couple thousand miles under my belt now. And, uh, it drives really well. And honestly, it drives way better than the gas coach did. Storage wise up here, uh, there's just a bunch of random little things. Up in here, we've got controls for the awning and slide controls up in here. Uh, that actually is one of my future projects. That is our networking cabinet. And in a couple months, when I am back together with Ben from the previous few videos where he does all the techie stuff, uh, he's gonna help me build that out into a proper networking cabinet because right now it's just a bunch of wires hanging out. So future video up in there, so stay tuned for that. I think that's about it up here. So let's go ahead and move into the living room and the kitchen and beyond. Welcome to the passenger side of the living room. This is where we have the reclining couch. So both of these pop up. We have this nice kind of shelf back here that has cup holders. It's a good place to hold things that don't move or controllers so they don't get lost in the bowels of the sofa. Up above me here is where we can keep all of the school stuff and books and all of those sorts of things. We have quite a bit more space than we did in the other RV. So we can keep everything up there. The dinette is a lot bigger too because it's kind of this U shape and we can throw the littles in the back and Brian and I can sit on the edges. Tara can sit out here and it just is a better fit for them doing schoolwork where they can spread out a little bit more to get everything done with all their paperwork. We keep um, kind of dry food up here in this pantry. I don't know if food will stay here, but it's that's where it is right now. Um, it's just an easy place for it to be kept. So let's check out the other side of the living room. This is a pull-out couch and it comes out into a queen size bed that's actually really comfortable and this is Tara's space. She gets this entire room in the evening all to herself. She has lots of storage all the way around. She keeps her electronics and her books and her school stuff all in these spaces. And there's also a hidden television here on a televator that we like to watch in the evening. We keep it down during the day so we can see out the window. Now Brian wants to show off his fancy new kitchen. Guys, check out this kitchen. I love this kitchen. Not only does it have way more counter space than we had before, but it has a couple things that are built in that I really, really love. Before we get to the A number one thing, which I think you already know I am absolutely in love with, let's talk about everything else. There's a nice big sink over here, and uh, it actually has two different sized sides to it. I initially didn't think I would like this, but because of the presence of something else, we've actually been using this little half side here for a lot more stuff. So I actually kind of like the two different sides. Uh, we have the air fryer out permanently in the corner here. We have our little crack with utensils. Uh, and then we have the coffee pot. This is uh, the Keurig that sits here all the time. And then in the previous rig, we had a portable Ikea uh, induction cooktop. And we liked using that over the gas burners. We actually never turned the gas burners on a single time in that RV in two and a half years. We liked the induction because it doesn't put a bunch of heat out into the RV while you're cooking. And we spend a lot of time in Florida and adding heat to the inside is bad because there's a ton of heat on the outside. So what's even better than one portable Ikea induction cooktop is um, one huge two burner induction cooktop in the countertops. 
Now this has been really nice having two because there were a couple times when we would be wanting to cook something that required two burners but we only had the one so this is a nice big huge upgrade. We also still have an induction uh, microwave oven. So this is the oven because there is not an oven down here. There is a way more useful appliance right there. And this is also where we keep the printer because there's not a better place for it. But talking about counter space, all I have to do is push a little button there and this entire thing slides out and I have way more prep room. Uh, we did uh, something there and I don't remember what it was, but we had, uh, it was kind of like this was your where you come over and you build your own food. Like this is, it's, just, look, at, look at all that. Look at all that. This is awesome. One little button, slides right back in. There's a bunch of drawers in here. This is kind of the junk drawer. We all have one. Uh, and then this one, we don't know what to do with this because it is bonkers huge for a drawer and we need some kind of dividers or organization in here. Uh, there is an absolute cave of a uh, cabinet down here under the sink. This thing goes all the way back to the wall. Uh, we have all the pots and pans and various things in there. And then there's even like another one toaster fits in there. There's storage everywhere in this kitchen, but you could take all of that away. And I'm still in love with this kitchen because there's a dishwasher. And this dishwasher's name is not Brian. I love having a dishwasher. It's not huge, but it is glamorous. It does dishes for, you know, a day or two. It's so nice having a dishwasher. The kids can just put dirty stuff in there and then every once in a while I just hit the things, run the button. I love it so much. But this is only part of the kitchen. There's also more of the kitchen over here. So let's go check out this little uh, pantry. Like we have more pantry. Actually, this is kind of pantry too. We're still figuring this out. This, this is, we had that big, huge pantry in the bounder we don't have that in this, so it's, it's, things are kind of, let, let's go look over here. Now over on this side, we have a uh, pantry in air quotes part three. Uh, there's two little things here and they have little pull out. This is, this is the important one. That's where all the hot sauces are. Uh, so it has a bunch of drawers that pull out and we have all the light cups and stuff up here. And we stole this from our friend Jordan. We have uh, the like plastic and paper plates and stuff down in this bottom one. Uh, so it's kind of, kind of a weird, hard to use area. So like we both said, we're still trying to kind of figure out where all that stuff goes. Uh, but obviously we have a nice, big, huge residential fridge. It's got a big slide out freezer drawer on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's it's very similar to the fridge we had before, but it's great. You know, it's, a, it's in a good location. And before the fridge kind of made like a little bottleneck through the middle of the RV, we don't have that in here. There's just this one doorway over here but this is, this is great. So that's enough for the kitchen. Let's talk about this little half bath right here. This is the half bath. It's not very big, but it's big enough. And Tara keeps all her stuff in here. So this is kind of like her own bathroom in terms of holding all of her like makeup and things that teenage girls have. Brian might be excited about the dishwasher, but I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that my favorite thing about this RV is the separate washer and dryer units. We did a combo unit in our trailer and that was fine when the kids had tiny clothes, but they are growing as we always say. Now having the separate washer and dryer inside our rig right next to where the laundry is and I don't have to go to a laundromat has been amazing this month. We also, in this beautiful bedroom, have a king-size bed. And in addition to the king-size bed, we do not have a nice big side arms like we did in the bounder because we had a queen in the bounder. But my CPAP does fit. It fits on that little ledge and because the water goes in the back, all the weight is in the back. So the CPAP, it, it's fine. Uh, we have a, that's a, another cave. All of these little doors up here open into one massive storage area that again, we have no idea what to do with. Uh, this bed does tilt. It is a Tilt-A-King, and we will show you that on a future travel video because we actually have to tilt this up in order to close these slides because this bed is on its own slide. And then over on this side, we have the TV and these uh, cabinets. This is the edge of another slide here, and that one goes all the way back to the other side of the bathroom. So for these two slides to come together, that bed has to tilt up out of the way. 
Speaking of these closets, that one's mine. It's a wreck. Aaron's looks way better than no, mine. No, it this doesn't. Time so <laughs> she hasn't seen mine. So we have one of these on either side. And then there's a nice big cabinet in the middle here. Uh, the Xbox is here because the kids play Xbox on the TV in here. Uh, and then Aaron has these two drawers. All my stuff fits over there. And with those couple little drawers underneath next to the uh, washer. That's Show them still my in washer the way. and dryer. Hold on, though. we'll show them in just a second. So there's these little drawers yeah. down here. Uh, we just got various things in there. Aaron has this other side. Uh, and then Aaron wants to show off the full splendor. Yay! I will get out of the way so we can do a full wide shot. There's my washer. There's the washer. There's my dryer. There's the dryer. She loves them. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as we get towards the back of the RV, we actually have a full-size bathroom that is uh, quite large. Go ahead, let me show them off. I know you're excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love how much light is in here. Like, it's amazing. So come on in, and there's drawers everywhere. And, like, we have a whole drawer just of, like, hair bobbers so Brian doesn't have to see them all over the rig. I'm so excited. <laughs> but there's so much light coming from all areas. There's like little hidden compartments. You're showing off the hidden compartments? I know. It's I was so going to do a short seeing if people could find the... Okay. So yeah, there's one there. There's one there. But there's another one. Comment down below if you know where it is. Yes. There is one more in here. <laughs> it's exciting though. And the, this again is tons of storage under here that we need to organize and use better. It's another it's, cave. It's another cave just full of stuff. But this is nice. This is where the littles, I can show you this part. Well, mm -hmm. they're, the littles are spending the night at Papa's house this weekend, which is why we can make this video for you guys. But this is where they keep their toothbrushes and toothpaste so they don't have to go in any of our drawers to get the things that they need. And they're, they can stand right here and brush their teeth before they go to bed, which has been quite lovely. Shower's on this side, and the shower is huge. Like, so much space. With the littles, this having a large shower, I never thought this would be an issue. I have to, like, get in fully clothed and, like, <laughs> rinse their hair off because the shower thing is over there, and it's just a whole thing. But it's pretty comical, I'm sure, with them showering you know, Ben's in there trying to get all the soap out of his hair and I stand here fully clothed with the thing to get, it's a You thing. know what, let's show how big it is. Okay. Go ahead and get in there. Alrighty. And I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna get in too. Oh my. This is not gonna get <laughs> R-rated. Whoa. Right. So yeah, we're, we're both in this shower. Hi. And actually, <laughs> we're both in the shower with the door closed. That's how go. big this is. So yeah, this is a quite a big upgrade from what the boundary had. Yes. That was so silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, toilet the second yes. is back here. I have black tank sensors that actually read accurately. What? Because these are macerator toilets. If you don't know what a macerator is, just imagine that underneath the toilet, there's a garbage disposal. Mm -hmm, that's a good so, description. Yeah, so everything going through, go ahead and flush it so they can hear it. Okay. It's loud. So it runs some water for a second and then And then... <laughs> yep, that's a macerator. So, like I said, garbage disposal. Everything going through there gets, for lack of a better word, homogenized. Yeah. Right? So everything coming through the tank, like when I am watching the black tank empty because I like to know the things are coming out, it's a very uniform consistency. And I think that that helps with the sensors because there aren't clumps and chunks and paper right. smacked on the side. It's, it's all very Right. Beautiful. And it macerates it right underneath the toilet yep. here. So before it even gets to the black tank, it's yep. all liquid. Yes. So bunk room. This, bunk room. This, this is, is why we got it. This on, uh, on this RV, right? Yep. Welcome to the back here. Um, we needed space for the littles. That was a, a proper bed. So Tara has the queen bed up in the front that comes out of the couch. We sleep on the king bed. And then Brooke sleeps up here on the top. And Ben sleeps here on the bottom. Um, Brooke gets the top. She's the older one. Um, she's a little more agile, getting up and down in the middle of the night if yes. she needs to go. So she gets the top. And they have their own, like, heating and air conditioning vent, which is very nice because they like it very cool when they sleep at night. So we can stay toasty warm out there, put this on AC for them, and everything's golden. They have huge, again, cave closets behind 
both of their pillows here that they keep all their toys in. It, they organize it. They keep their stuff, their toys, and their books are in there. Um, and for us, it's out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, I don't have to look at it. This is Brooke's closet. She has room to hang some things, and she knows what's going on in here. Um, ben gets these three drawers, which is perfectly fine for his clothes. He's got a place for that. And then Tara has this whole side, all three drawers and all the space up here. And it, it looks like a 13 year old has just put her stuff in there. Um, I promise she has enough space, but they like this. They can peek out the windows. They have room to just lay out completely. These are six feet long, so I could lay on here and not have a problem. Um, but it has worked out very nicely. They're getting to bed earlier. It's just been a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. So that's it for the inside. Let's take a quick look at the outside. Out here, there is a massive awning that we can run in and out. And then there are five storage bays on this side that we've been making pretty good use of. And the front bay, we have uh, the Starlink stuff for now, and we store the kids' bike helmets in there. In the next bay, we have a nice big slide out tray, which is awesome. And the bay after that is a big, massive pass-through bay that goes all the way through to the other side. And then we have a long skinny bay where we keep like the outside mats and we have a flagpole now and more on that in the future. And then the fifth bay actually is really cool because that's where the freshwater tank is. And instead of just having no bay or just a useless one, they put pegboard in there. Like that's from the factory, that's really cool. The rest of the bay is in the back, not useful at all because again, this is a diesel pusher. So you have a big honking diesel engine in the back. So those last two bays on this side, uh, it's just fluids and hydraulics and electronics. And it's all just uh, engine stuff. And then on the other side, all the batteries and all of that. Uh, wet bay on the other side, not very interesting. I have a couple gripes about it basically because of the camp height of this. But again, that'll be a future video. Um, so let's go look at the back end of this thing and see what we're doing about the bikes and towing the Jeep and then we'll uh, wrap this up. Okay, uh, back here on the back side of the RV, uh, we have a very similar setup to what we had on the bounder. I have a Hollywood rack on top of a splitter here, so we can carry our two, uh, two of our three e-bikes. The other one is folded up in the back of the Jeep. And then on the bottom, we have the Ready Brute Elite tow system that we use to tow our Jeep Wrangler that Aaron is pulling up in right now. What convenient timing. <laughs> so that's kind of a run through of the entire RV. Let's see what Aaron thinks. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have questions about anything that we showed you today or if you want to see something more in depth in the new RV, let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!